Just a couple quick disclaimers before we begin. Number one, do not go to war with anyone mentioned in this video. And number two, because this series' purpose is to critique and comment on the artwork presented in it, it falls under fair use. Now, on with the show! DeviantArt, one of the world's largest online art galleries, holding great masterpieces, but also great eccentricities. Today, we'll take a look at someone from there. On this episode of DeviantArt Critique, we'll be diving into Pyramid Head. After the absolutely gargantuan video that was last episode, I think I deserve a bit of a break from the depths of the site. So, why not review yet another great artist? Pyramid Head is a professional illustrator hailing from the United States that has been around on the site for about 10 years. He has published 614 deviations and has a fan base just shy of reaching 3,000 watchers. Let's dive into his gallery. Pyramid Head's illustrations are nothing short of a blessing upon the horror world. The various terrors and surreal creatures that he conjures up are nothing short of visually impressive. The sheer amount of fear exuded by these creatures is only amplified by the fact that they are drawn in black and white. Said coloration also helps to create more of a mystery behind them, in my opinion. It is also very obvious that Pyramid Head has mastered a realistic style that he portrays these creatures in. This stylistic choice really helps convey the horror in these illustrations, bringing them down to earth through realism assists in making them that much scarier. These monsters don't just exist on their own, however. Pyramid Head has created several worlds that they inhabit, one of which is entitled New Darkness in the East. This Japanese culture-inspired world is based on an event in Japan involving an object falling from the sky, which causes monsters to rise out of the shadows. As I've said before, I don't really go into detail about stories since I'm not an expert in them, but this premise does have me mildly intrigued, and I would get into it if I had the time to read the ebook illustrating the new darkness in the East universe. The fact that Pyramid Head makes stories about the monsters makes me very confident that he is going forward with trying to make some sort of career in the horror world. His dedication to his craft makes me that much more sure of that. If I'm right, then I'm glad he's doing so. He has a unique vision of his own that should not be lost to the sands of time. I will add that maybe, just maybe, that he should try color. He has uploaded paintings before, so with some practice, I am confident that he can master colored illustration in addition to black and white illustration. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host, Xenon Quark996. Have a nice remainder of 2020.